Magandang hapon mga kababayan, kayo po ay nanonood ng nag-iisang kababayan today. This is your premier resource for anything and everything Filipino and Filipino-American. Where this afternoon on the program, we're going to be celebrating the U.S. screening of a Philippine movie. No less than the director is here to join us, talking to us about that movie. Uh, you wouldn't want to miss out, so stick around. Also on the show, get ready to meet a young and talented kababayan designer from San Francisco who's slowly making a name for herself in Hollywood. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, Boxing News, the countdown begins to the Manny Pacquiao, Brandon Rios matchup. We have interviews with you or for you in the coming days here on the program starting today. But before that, we'll take you around town as we stop by the L.A. City Hall for a wonderful event uh, honoring and commemorating October as National Disability Awareness Month. The city of Los Angeles recently capped off a very busy month of October by commemorating National Disability Awareness Month. Last week, a reception was held at City Hall to coincide with a culmination of the disability art exhibit in the bridge area of the building. The event aims to highlight art and art transcends art transcends abilities or disabilities. If you saw some of the art pieces, you would never know that, that the person has a, has a disability. And once you come to the realization that a disability is not an, not an inability, then, then one can achieve whatever they dream of doing. This sixth annual Disability Art Show featured 65 art pieces by 32 different artists living with disability. Deafness doesn't really mean anything just because I can't hear. But when I do things in my daily life, I just do them. Yeah, I can't hear, I'm deaf, but I'm used to it. We can use video phones, we can use texting. There are many different ways to communicate. So there's nothing negative about being deaf. I can have any job that a hearing person can have. I can use the phone to communicate. I can use the internet. And just like with my artwork, the artwork itself is deaf. Well, you can't judge a person by its symptoms. Otherwise, we'll regret it because of what they can do. In my one story, I remember this one kid who had autism, a 23-year-old who had autism, who actually practiced playing cards in Vegas. He only has $20 in his pockets. And then overnight, 20000 And it was actually, I gave a good point. I mean, sometimes there's hidden talents that we don't even know about. Like me, I do like blending, coloring, and, and I did like comic booking on my pages after four books in a, in a composition book. And actually that is my career, I like to do this. I've had a lot of people tell me, you look normal, you sound normal, or you appear normal. But sometimes people don't know, like I have various disabilities, like all, all the time my, my heels are in pain, they're burning. Uh, it's painful to stand up, but uh, I've learned to li live, uh, if you will, with pain. I have three crushed discs in my neck. I have PTSD. I want to be an art therapist because I want to help veterans uh, that have the same disabilities I have. The event is, without a doubt, empowering for the artists and inspiring for everyone. Event organizer Sheridan Kaser recalled to us how he started the idea. Actually, I saw an, uh, an article on uh, deaf artists, no, not deaf artists, I saw an article on blind artists, and it hit me as a possibility having something, you know, in City Hall for blind artists, that's uh, kind of unique. I never was able to get a hold of them. Uh, we did have a deaf festival and still do, where a lot of deaf uh, artists appear, and so we have people there. And I sort of built from there, and I found other areas where, where uh, uh, people with disabilities were actually doing beautiful artwork. The artists, their family and friends, and the staff of L.A. City Department on Disability wish to thank everyone who supported this project, including city officials who helped make the show possible. 
because there's people who have disabilities who overcome those disabilities. People have disabilities who make them abilities. People who take their thoughts from their hearts and their mind and put it to work and create art. It's very special. I'm proud of our Department of Disabilities uh, and all the work that they've done to encourage this. And all we do is try to help it along. In closing, the artists living with disability who showcase their talents have this message for everyone. We all have dreams, regardless of any disabilities that we might have. You know, and this is the way we express ourselves. And we want the whole world to know. You know, we don't want to be labeled as a disabled person. We want to be labeled as the artists we are, the talents we have.